Let's go. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is what the bike is made for, frankly. Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel, flying right here. It is a nice and crisp early morning. I hope uh, all of you and uh, your family and your friends are having a happy and healthy uh, Thanksgiving. I am uh, on location uh, with uh, Fly and Ride Senior and we are testing out a new adventure motorcycle. So let's jump right in and show you what we have here. That's my 2020 Streetlight CDL Sand Dune that you see right there. And this is the 2021 BMW R 1250 HP GS. I was able to rent this beast for 24 hours. I've been uh, considering testing out different adventure bikes. You might've seen a video prior. I was testing out my friends Nadal's Triumph 900 Rally. And I was able to rent this one for 24 hours. I've been riding it since yesterday. I'm riding it tomorrow, uh, this morning before we uh, return it. And uh, I thought I would actually start the video here uh, because uh, I wanted to test the bike before I gave you my overall first impressions, which we're gonna do here in a second. We're gonna get on the bike uh, and then we're gonna take it for a ride and then I'm gonna walk you through all of my impressions and essentially tell you what I think about this bike. Um, I have been uh, considering an adventure bike for the channel. This is one of the ones, I tried the Triumph. We're gonna try the uh, Pan America. We may try the KTM. Uh, but today we're here to talk about this beast of a BMW and let me tell you it is a beast let me walk you around the bike here real quick and show you So much to share uh, about this bike and I'll probably have to break it down into a few categories so let's jump on the bike and let's talk about it but before I do if you're new to the channel I'm flying ride and on this channel I focus on motor vlogs ride videos ride reviews usually all on my 2020 street by CBO sand dune that you see right there but obviously from time to time I bring new bikes I test out new bikes and give you my first impressions not full reviews but my first impressions I also fly the DJI Mavic drone, giving you cinematic drone footage usually from the sky. So again, if you're new to the channel, we'd love to have you as the channel continues to grow and hit that subscribe button for me, please. It would be great to have you as the channel continues to grow. Also remember to hit that uh, like button. It really does help out the channel. And uh, remember to hit that uh, bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. So let's jump on the bike and show you what uh, this bike is all about. All right. Mr. Flying Ride Senior. All right, so first let me give you a feel for this bike here real quick. Let's go. Oh my god all right so uh, that reaction just about sums it up 
so look at this look at look at look how straight this bike stays all right so i'm gonna give you my uh my overall impressions as, as you can tell from uh my reaction there i absolutely love this bike and uh, it is different than anything i have ever ridden before I mean, just, and I've, and again, I've tried uh, dirt bikes, ATVs, uh, I've tried other adventure bikes, and uh, it's just like nothing I've ever ridden. I mean, that's the best way that I could describe it. So, let me, um, let me try to break this down into, you know, a series of categories. So, the first category is... Let's talk about power delivery, right? Because I had a lot of questions about how powerful this bike really is. And I will tell you that uh, this thing, and you saw it there a second ago, and that was that was a, a mere test. That's not even pushing the bike, obviously. It is super fast, super torquey, and then it delivers it. I mean, it just delivers it across the full range. The power, that is. So, I, I am telling you, it is sport bike fast and very, very torquey. So, I mean, it's just, uh, let's try to use a scale here so I can give you some perspective. Again, this is not a full review. This is just my impressions. I'm not an expert on adventure bikes. So, I'm just giving you an average uh, person's reaction on a first time on, on a bike like this. And in terms of uh, power delivery, I would give it a 10. Uh, 10 being the best, one being the worst. The second uh, category I wanna talk about is uh, comfort. And uh, this bike comes equipped with, uh, with a suspension that you can adjust here. You can make it on auto, you can put it on low, and you can put it on high. And uh, it is just super, super comfortable. Uh, it has that uh, special suspension in the front that prevents the, uh, the nose from diving even when you decelerate like I just did right now. And it is just very, very plush. It's a very comfortable ride, super comfortable suspension. So again, I would, I would give it a 10 for the suspension as well. The third category uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about is just overall comfort, seating position, you know, I rode this bike for over an hour yesterday, actually a couple of hours yesterday before I came here and gave you my impressions. And uh, in terms of uh, overall comfort, I would give it an eight. And let me tell you why I'm giving it an eight. The seating position where my legs are, right? You see how it goes back like that? And where, my, and where the handlebars are, and again, this is just stock. You know, after an hour of riding yesterday, I started to get a little fatigued. My elbow started to hurt a little bit. My legs needed to stretch. Now the good thing about this bike is you could just stand up like this and basically just ride it standing up. I don't know if you can see it well here. I'm going 47 miles an hour and I just stood up on it. So you could do that, but you know, I don't know, maybe I was expecting it to be just more comfortable that I can ride it for hours and hours and not feel tired and fatigued. It could also very well be that I'm just not used to the bike and uh, it'll take some getting used to. I'm coming from the Harley. So again, um, comfort, I would give it an eight out of a 10 for those reasons alone. I think the other component that I'll add into comfort is just, you know, getting used to the controls. Again, that'll change over time because, um, you know, once you get used to the bike, but uh, finding the shifter, the fact that the shifter is much smaller, the brake is much smaller, you know, all of that, I think, added to the overall comfort level that I felt uh, for the first time riding the bike. So that's that's the third category that I would uh, that I would rate it. The fourth category is um, maneuverability, or the ability, or just you know, how well does it maneuver? And I would tell you, if it was a, <laughs> I, I would go even higher than a ten. You know, everything I've read about this bike said that once you get on the bike, basically it becomes weightless. The, the way that this engine distributes the weight, the, the low center of gravity on this bike, 
I am telling you, it it does not feel like you're carrying a bike, it, that you're riding a bike that weighs 500 pounds. It literally feels like I'm riding a mountain bike. You know, stand up, get down, you know, super, super agile. And again, for off-road, and I haven't taken it off-road, I'm gonna take it on a hard pack road here. I'm just not gonna take it off-road because uh, I'm not comfortable with it yet. Um, and I would only do that if I actually purchased my own bike. But um, I will tell you that it's just even coming to a slow stop here. Look at this. The, the bike hasn't even moved. And look how slow I'm going. Nice and slow. Flying Ride Senior is struggling back there on my bike. On my bike. It's just super stable. So I, I get it, it gets a it gets a, above ten in terms of uh, the ability to maneuver it. I mean, look at this. So that's the fourth. The fifth category, uh, let's talk about handling. And uh, <laughs> again, I would just above a 10 if I could. It's just, I mean, you could take these twisties and these turns at, uh, I think, at whatever skill level you're able to offer. Now, I'm not a skilled rider. I'm an average rider. So, and uh, I've got flying right senior behind me, so I'm not pushing it today. But, uh, like, there's a turn coming up right here. I mean, you could just lean right into it like nothing. And the thing just handles right through it like a champ. Very stable. Look at that. Again, I'm taking it nice and easy, but you can tell from the turns, hopefully, on the video. It just handles it like a champ. And that quick shifter is amazing. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah! My God, it's so fun. Just so fun. What an awesome experience. If you have not tried out an adventure bike, I highly, highly recommend it. I mean, it's just nimble, just throw it, boom. And it, it just handles amazing. I mean, it was made for these twisties. So that's the last category. I mean, the only other category that I would, uh, you know, rate it in is uh, the off-road ability. And again, I'm not gonna take it. There's a hard packed uh, road here that I've ridden before on my Harley, so. I'm gonna take it in here for a second just to get a feel for it. I'm not even, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to give you, you know, any real impressions on on how it handles. So Fly Right Senior is back there. All right, so. So I'm taking it nice and easy here. There's a mode that you can put it on. Tenduro. I just did it for the fun of it now. I mean, look how slow I'm going. This is a hard pack road. This is not considered off road. I've actually taken my Harley here a bunch of times. I mean, super comfortable. I mean, you can go super slow here. Turn up here. I mean, look how quickly I turned. Like nothing. And you can stand up on this thing and still. I mean, this is what the bike is made for, frankly. 
You can lower this windshield here if you wanted to. This is on the high position because uh, I wanted the wind protection, but you can lower it if you wanted to, especially if you're an aggressive off-road rider. You have the ability to lower that. I'm uh, super impressed, and it's frankly, you know, I was talking to the, the crew that I ride with uh, yesterday, and yesterday I just wasn't, I wasn't convinced, and frankly it's because I hadn't ridden it enough, and after riding it this morning again, you start to now really appreciate the, uh, the real capability of this bike. It's just, uh, it's just extraordinary. I mean, there's a reason why they rate this as one of the top bikes made in the world. Let's go, Mr. Fly and Ride Senior. As you can tell, I got uh, my dad here with me. Mom and dad are uh, here uh, for, uh, for the holidays. Always great to have them. Of course, my dad is the one that taught me how to ride and uh, he loves all this stuff, so it's... Uh, I am blessed to have the ability to do it, and I enjoy uh, every moment that I can. So he's uh, he's back there, riding my 2020 Streetlight CVO as I uh, as I give you my impressions on this uh, amazing, amazing machine. So it's got road. So these is all the different levels. It has road. It has uh, Dynamic Pro, which is super, super fast. Enduro Pro for off-road. It's got rain, so it lowers the power. And then back to road. I've been riding it on road all this time because, uh, frankly, I tested the Dynamic Pro. And the power delivery on this thing is just sick. And you, 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 what you saw before was on road. And you saw how fast it was. It's even faster on Dynamic Pro. I'm telling you, this is a sport bike made into an adventure bike. So those are the six categories, I think there were six categories, that I would uh, rate the bike overall. I mean, obviously the bike, uh, the bike is pricey, so, you know, a lot to consider. Uh, for me, it would be a second, uh, a second motorcycle, and frankly, I, I love my Harley. I will always have my Harley. There's just nothing like it, frankly. I, I would say the same thing about this bike. There's nothing like it. So, you know, this is, um, there's room for sure in my garage for my Harley and then one of these adventure bikes. So this is now the second one that I've tested. And uh, I loved that Triumph, uh, my buddy's Nadal's bike. I think it's an awesome bike, highly capable. Uh, but this just feels more nimble, certainly faster. And the weight distribution on this just feels way more balanced. Uh, this is also a lot more money. So, uh, you know, you gotta factor that in depending on what your budget is. So there you have it, folks. My, uh, I've broken down my impressions in, uh, in those uh, six categories. Uh, hopefully, if you're considering an adventure bike, you know, my real-time reactions to riding this bike and my impressions will help you as you consider, you know, potentially adding one of these uh, to your collection uh, or the bikes that, uh, that you use. But overall, I, I would rate this you know, a 10 out of 10, you know, there was only one category, which is the comfort category for the reasons that I told you about. And I think that'll change over time. But outside of that, I rated it a 10 out of every other category. So, um, a huge uh, thumbs up. BMW has done an extraordinary job. It's not all hype what you hear. Oh, ooh, look at that. It's got ATVs, everything there. It's ready to go. You know, I'd love to see this with an off-road tire, at least uh, an 80-20 or 60-40. And then uh, taking it off-road to do a real test. Obviously, I'm not doing that. It's not my bike. But, um, man, this thing would be uh, super awesome on something like the BDR or a uh, cross-country trip where you go on and off-road. See, look at this. I haven't even stopped the bike. And he just stays balanced. It's amazing. Of course, it's got the quick shifter. There you go. All right, I've got to get some gas. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> We're gonna go fill it up now. You saw it there, it just said right to the next uh, filling station. 
So we're gonna, we're actually gonna fill it up before we take it back, and I'm gonna take it back here. Oh, you know what? One thing uh, that I want to mention that uh, I think it's important for you to understand and uh, and just have awareness if you're considering this bike, and that is, you know, how much wind you feel at high speeds. Uh, I haven't tested that here now, actually, but I'll talk about it here and then I'll come back to it. I mean, you just feel the wind. This windshield doesn't do, I think, a great job. Now, the the, uh, the Adventure version, which I think is a, a different version than this one. This is the R. I'm not sure this is the Adventure. I think the, the tank is much wider. I don't know. I've got to ask him when I get back. Uh, supposedly, the windshield is bigger and higher, which b will block more of the wind. But uh, when I was riding on the highway yesterday, I felt a lot of the wind uh, and some buffeting too. And I had this on the highest setting. Look, you can, you can lower it here. Turn in here. By the way, it's got cruise control. Just go here to the right and go forward. There you have it. So let me show you this. That's all the way up. This goes all the way down. So obviously that's for off-road. You can probably see it. You, I feel the wind a lot more as soon as I drop that windshield now. So if I uh, bring it back up, you can probably even hear it on the, on the microphone. You'll hear the wind a lot less. It does a really nice job of blocking it, I think, at lower speeds. But once you go anything above 70 and on the highway, let me tell you, you feel that wind and you do get some buffeting. So that's, that's one thing to consider. I'm sure they sell a bunch of stuff for that. Um, they sell side ones here. I've got to look into it, especially if I'm if I'm seriously considering this as uh, adding it to my uh, to my garage. I'll have to look into it because you know most of the most of the trips we'll do are going to be highway, and then we're going to go off road. You know, I want to improve uh, the comfort level at high speeds. So, so maybe that maybe that's a seventh category right uh you know overall comfort level and then comfort level at highway speeds and that i would rate probably a six out of a ten uh with uh with some room for improvement all right folks so there you have it my uh first impressions of the 2021 bmw r1250 hp overall just an amazing an amazing bike Highly recommend it. And this is a serious, serious contender for my consideration. Uh, hopefully in the next uh, several months or so, I'll be making a decision on whether I'm gonna add one, and if in fact I'm gonna add one, which one I'm gonna add. The next one that I hope to have in test is the, uh, of course, the uh, Harley Pan American. I've heard a lot of great things about that bike. Uh, some pros, some cons. So I'm going to do exactly what I'm doing here. I'm going to go rent it and I'm going to test it and I'll take you with me. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. I'm going to do that probably in the coming weeks. So uh, that's going to do it for this video. Do me a favor. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you as the channel continues to grow. Also remember to hit that like button. It really does help out the channel. And uh, remember to hit that bell notification so you can be reminded of future content like this one. Thanks for watching.